Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and I just want to make a quick video to show you how much easier it is to go off-roading in the experimental version of BeamNG Drive versus stable. So as of right now, we are on the experimental version, and I just want to go do a little bit of off-roading through here with a normal stock truck, and then I want to do it in the stable version as well. And you will see a significant difference of just how easy it is in the experimental version. And um, I think the easiness is more realistic, I would say, because it's like... These, it's not necessarily anything too difficult we're going through, but it used to be extremely hard to do in the stable version. Now in the experimental version, um, the way the friction is calculated and all that, it's just so much easier to be able to do something like this. So you see, we are having no problems just blowing through this area at all, you know? And now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the stable version of BMG Drive, which is the older version, and show you just how it compares. Also, obligatory crash because, well, this is BMG Drive after all. Because why not, you know? I mean, it's BMG Drive. You gotta have a little bit of crash. Just, just a little bit. That's all. <laughs> Alright. On to the next version. Okay, so now we are in the older version of BMG Drive, and we're gonna try the exact same thing. And if everything goes according to plan, you should see that it struggles a bit more here. Now, the dirt being a slightly different color, do not worry about that. That is just for me changing things up a bit because one of the maps had the dirt kind of invisible. So I had to fix that. So now we're going up this hill and you can see that it is struggling. Like, I'm not doing anything different, but we are going through this a lot slower than before. And you might say, well, that might be more realistic. But to me, this, this isn't supposed to be like dirt that's really you know, sandy and is able to slow you down much. It looks like it's more of a really compacted, dense dirt that you shouldn't be slowed down too much by. And by that logic, I think the, the improved version is superior in terms of its realism because, well, I don't, I don't see pr the dense dirt and that, that little of an angle slowing you down that much. I'm not saying it wouldn't slow you down because it slows you down in the new version too, but it seems to slow you down just a bit too much in this version. So that's just part one of the test, and... Um, We'll go ahead and get to part two as well because there's other things we could test uh, that kind of show this off. So let's uh, wreck this up just a bit more because it's always this is BMG Drive after all, like I said. And then we'll go somewhere else. Off you go into the hole. We don't love you anymore. I put the lotion on your skin. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to compare is going over rocky surface. So this is just a off-road truck, and we're gonna try to go through the rocks right here in grid map and then we're going to try it again in the other version and we'll see you know again the difference in the way the car handles it so this one we're going over it and we got stopped up a little bit but not much issue we'll go ahead and go back around and do it the opposite way as well and then we'll do it in the stable version because this is the, the experimental which means the newer version so we'll try the old version after this so uh -oh, we're a little stuck but that is probably more so driver error than anything uh, because I'm not really looking where I'm going. I'm just like, power, 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 you know? That's my solution, man. My solution's always power. But you see, we, went, we got through there without getting stuck that badly. And our car's good to go. And again, because this is BMG Drive, we have to have a little bit of crash somehow. All right, so now we're going to do the exact same thing in the stable version. Okay, so we're going to use the same strategy here. We're just going to go go hard and fast through it off-road truck and wow okay I don't know if that was just a fluke or what but you see how far it pushed us off like it shoved us away and you can see it, it does feel like it's going slower like somebody would have to time it to be for, for sure but it feels like we're like bouncing off of things and then going back into it like we crash into it and I can't turn I'm trying to turn the truck's not turning so we damaged the truck that time uh, but it felt like that was slower but you know We'll, we'll go both ways to make sure it wasn't just, you know, a one-run thing. So that time we flew over the rocks for a bit, and then we got stuck, so we got to back it up a bit. And that usually frees us up. There you go. So, you see, it looks like what happens is we get stuck on things more often on this way. Like, we kind of bounce off things, but the other one's more smooth. This one's like whack, 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 whack. So, again, I, I think that, like, off-roading is a much more pleasant experience in the newer version. It, it's easier. That is for sure. And for somebody like me who always considered himself bad at it, I kind of enjoy it now. So, you know, like I said, to me, it, it seems like it'd be more realistic, but I have no off-roading experience, to be honest, so it's really hard to say. But either way, it is at least more enjoyable. So, until next time, this is my YBR. I'll see you.